Okay, hey guys. Still Supreme Home here. And, um, we're back to you with more content. A little surprise drop of um, Pokemon Unite. I actually haven't been keeping up with this game. But I said, hey, I'll give it a try. And so far, the game has been very um, addicting, to say the least. It's definitely been taking up a little bit of my time. It is a free-to-play game that is on the Nintendo Switch, and let's see, I don't believe it's on, it is also on Android and iOS, okay, but anyways, we're actually going to be looking for a, uh, you probably see in the title, Bulbasaur, or Venusaur gameplay, and I think this is my first game actually playing with the character. So, that's that too. Uh, this is actually, this was my first time playing the character. I think I would have to be level four. So, yeah. And I think I got this on the first day of playing, or the second. We're actually gonna go a, I believe a Giga Drain, Solar Beam run with potion and leftovers just because that's what we have but a really fun build that i've been going and you might see it in the middle of this gameplay after this game is done a more recent gameplay um a venusaur going giga drain pedal pedal storm and i think i used the attack rate attack x so with all that combined, you're basically going to have a crap ton of damage you are going to be able to deal and soak up damage. That is how I see it. So you're basically going to burst them while also being able to reduce their damage while being able to get that little bit of the Giga Drain healing. Another ideal idea that I do have is probably the Potion. It's probably good too, just because it's just more HP. But I think I don't even have a jack button yet or any of those items. So yeah, I just finally got the speed item. And that's kind of good on certain certain uh, characters. Cinderace right now I think is one of the best units or Pokemon in this game that you can play with because like huh, that character's range is insanely good and plus it's, it's options but getting back to the gameplay we're actually gonna just take care of these eight MP palms real quick get to level three get a razor leaf and uh just slide and hopefully get in a fight we see that machop and i think the score bunnies down here while there, Bulbasaur and Snorlax here chilling. He's gonna take a little nap, use a little razor leaf to get the damage. Actually, takes out the Bulbasaur with the can Camerant. I'm actually surprised Camerant's a playable character in this game because I didn't know he was this popular. This uh, Snorlax is gonna move out the way for my razor leaf. Just gonna go back and heal up. Snorlax is gonna be big boy brave and try to, I think, get a hoop. And he actually gets the first goal of the game with just four points. It doesn't really matter. Take out the crawfish. Crayfish. <laughs> so coming up for these combies. I'm surprised I know that that's best. We're actually going to take out the Bulbasaur again while it just takes all that damage. Bulbasaur is very squishy, by the way, if you're wondering. It's very squishy. Do a lot of damage. Uh, I personally don't like uh, Solar Beam. I just feel like it doesn't do enough damage for me. Unlike I can go Pedal, pedal Storm. Pedal Dance? Pedal Storm. We'll see when it pops up. And uh, I like the movement speed with it. So I can get the Giga Drain, get the movement speed, and go in them and have a chance to actually get out. A set that I was thinking of is... I need to look into the ults too. 
there's one thing I don't like about this game, how you have to press your ult twice, instead of just it being a, a single click, or like, some type of form of cast. But, yeah, maybe there is, I didn't look at the options, so, take my words, with a grain of salt. Um, we're actually gonna go get some dunks. Big boy, Snorlax is gonna try to slow him, to slow him down. Oh, Surf, I believe. I'm gonna actually take out the Zambi Bomb. Oh, since this is the first video on this game, let me go over how this game basically works. You basically want to get rid of the Pokemon, the mobs, whatever you want to call them. Combies, AV Palms, Crawdaunts, Crayfish, uh, Zap, Zapdos, and Dreadnought, I think is also another one. Rotoms, occasionally. I think uh, Dreadnought is at the bottom of the map. And Rotom is at the top. And you basically get them and you get ball, Pokeballs and you want to score in the hoop. Um, you, you can get interrupted if you're trying to score on the hoop, if they, I think, base attack you or hit you with ability. And yeah, you get speed. If it's an ally or your um, base or hoop, you get, you heal. And you get a movement speed. And if you're at the opposing one, it slows you. While there will also be two citrus berries, you are able to heal it. We're actually gonna get taken out there. Uh, strolling lane. Later on in the game, there are like ways to propel yourself. I don't believe. I guess our jungler is Mr. Mime. But yeah. This is. Seeing Kramer out with that, uh. What was that? Uh, I actually don't remember that Pokemon's name. But yeah, he spits it out. I really do like uh, Bulbasaur in this game, or Venusaur in this game. Just because he's a damage dealer. I was thinking he was going to be like a tank, but I guess in a sense he could be with the Giga Drain. At least he has some type of sustain. Gengar is a phenomenal unit. Man is a trickster, speedster, does some damage. It's nice. Overall, like, amazing gameplay, like, or character. I'm actually gonna start strolling back to lane. Didn't know these were buffs. The, um, Buffalant and Ludicolo. I originally thought they were just some type of high price uh, Pokemon to get balls, like, you just get four. It's just. But yeah, you actually get a buff. I did not know that. I actually don't know what type of buff gives you, but it certainly does. And I believe it's that little like spiral thing down at the bottom of Venusaur, as you see. And the blue one was on Ninetales. As you see, I was uh, going in for the 360 no scope uh, solar beam. I actually used my super, missed all of it, by the way. And I believe that... Uh, Gosh, we're gonna sit, call it Score Bunny. Cause I can, uh, Cinderace. I believe Cinderace could have killed me there by, just by chasing me. Cause look at that range. That range is just damage. It's just too good. If you look at every other character's like description for their passive, Cinderace has the. Mo I'm just saying it has the most words, and it looks like it has like. They could have just gave it Blaze, but the three main starters already have that, but. They did not have to, like, in my opinion, give Cinderace all that. They just gave it the most range in the game for some apparent reason that it just kicks fire. You would believe Cinderace is slow. Uh, well, not slow, it's a rat. But wouldn't have that range. Bunny, rabbit, and, uh, yeah. I think it will be melee, but it kicks the fire. I will save that rant for the Cinderace video, because Cinderace is a phenomenal, I'm telling you, it's really good. Alright. You can see they're all jumping up. One thing that I dislike about this game is 
I get that it's for kids. I get it's probably uh, marketed for them more than it's marketed for me. But Jesus. When you get an AFK in this game, you, you feel the disadvantage. Uh, the Zapdos actually... That actually makes it feel like you can come back. Or it's like... Really great. Really great comeback. We're gonna get the Gig Dream Plus. I said... Because this is my first time actually going through playing this character. So I was like, hmm. I like Giga Dream more than the other option. Uh, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb actually just uh, slows and puts down like a poison ground. That, yeah. Slows and poisons. And I think that's the ideal set you want to use for uh, Venusaur. Ooh, nice little snipe there. We're not going to kill anyone, though. Yeah, so it mean takes out the Venusaur with the snipe. Never before seen gameplay. Gets out the Snorlax. We're going for that Machoke. Machamp, because he's a champion who's gonna get away. And I do not know why I am going after the score bunny. We're gonna try to snipe him, but I don't know my buttons. The ZR feels really awkward in this game. We're gonna try to get a little hoop action in there. I think we're actually gonna fall down here, folks. And yeah, we overextended. Jeez. Cinderace comes back doing damage. We gave up a, a plenty enough hoops in that one. And so far, it's looking like a very close game. They got one side blown out, but we do have an extra side. But plus the Zapdos, I think it matters. Look at all of our teammates with 50s. That's 100 hoops right there. Well, 50 McNugget. No, Yannis. But yeah, we're actually gonna are we gonna attack the Zapdos here. We're gonna miss the Zapdos because man, I'd be struggling with that. But and I play League of Legends. It's, it's just the controller feels weird. I promise you. I just have to get used to using a Twitch product to play one of these type of games. That click. Uh, I do believe with my other build, I could possibly do that. But just gonna back through low. And probably rotate bot. Champ is going to score some points. No. The game is about to end. We're about to see the final result. Looking at the Zapdos, making sure they're not looking at it. Just, how can they get points? And here we are. Gonna do some more damage and pat our EDA and score ratio. Let's look at this for our first game. 310 to 356. That's a heartbreaking defeat. It was um, honestly a learning game for me in that one. All right, and now we are to the second game. Uh, we actually just got leftovers put on with the muscle band, and you can see what we got the X attack. And um, we're basically gonna use this to hopefully maximize as much damage as we can with Venusaur. And we're gonna actually go uh, Giga Drain and Pedal Dance, like I said, to get the movement speed, get some continuous damage and some sustain in there so you can be in the middle of the fray because I really don't like solar beam after playing that first game it just feels like it takes a little bit while to get I feel immobile it doesn't feel like I'm doing much damage but I've came to terms and thought about it and I can just uh, use my ultimate and solar beam and hopefully do enough damage where I can just two shot I think that might be the intended plan or Sledge Bomb, ult into Solar Beam to try to pick them off. That's all I can really imagine that you can really uh, do with that. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to, for future videos and future content, I'm going to probably skip this screen. I'm just using it because, yeah, I needed to get that off and talk. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. If it does not skip, it is going to skip now. Okay. And we're in here. We're actually going to be top lane. Um, this is also another problem that I've noticed within this game. Uh, through people will go to a lane. They will see it. And maybe this guy is dual queuing with that guy. Guy. 
he was probably rotating with that guy. I'm gonna just go down to uh, bot lane and just rotate there and start getting the uh, crayfish in the jungle. Uh, so I don't fall behind in level. I'm gonna pad it into the wall because uh, Ivysaur can once again go into the grasslands to uh, travel. I'm um, gonna actually hit the <laughs> crayfish there so it knows not to mess with me. Ghastly's actually gonna attack me. Call me crazy. Call me crazy, man. God crazy. Uh, we're just gonna just kite back and attack them, get the citrus berry, get uh, HP up since we were close. Fully miss our razor leaf because we tried to do uh, a manly input one to hit both of them. And we actually get Absol's assist from the jungler. Zorora actually comes down top for it. This is another problem. Uh, why, are, why, like, why is he down here? I, I move from top so he can have that lane because he followed me from being already coming to the lane late. And now we have a Pikachu, and now the land snail or rock snail is coming down. Bot. Now we have five people. Bot side. And this is a common problem within this game. Where I don't know if they really explain that, like, two people should go top, two people should go bottom. I know it's not, like, explicitly, like, but come on. Or if you see one person, just rotate to match the numbers. Because numbers do matter. That's one thing about this game. Numbers matter immensely, and levels do also matter. Uh, kind of a ton. I was a level six, two level sixes versus level nine. We uh, we got dubbed, and I, it's always character dependent, I believe. But yeah, after that side round, we're actually gonna go get some of these hoops. One thing that I noticed too, you want to make hoops because you get XP from making hoops too. Because you will see me in multiple games just sit on my uh, on my hoops. Uh, map awareness too. Uh, I don't expect any of the players to have map awareness. This is a Nintendo game. Uh, they barely even have map awareness in League of Legends to even say about that. So I don't even can't even look at the map. You can also go unlock screen if you press L to view the map and move your right analog stick too. Um, we're gonna rotate top because I finally had enough of it. And yeah, this Greninja is level eight now because we left him alone. And, uh, why? <laughs> I would have stayed top, but they all rotated. The people who were top lane rotated, rotated to bot. I know the cat's in the jungle right now, but, like, our whole lane was free. It's very confusing. And I get rotating, but you have to... You can't leave the hoops unattended. Especially when they have other Pokemon around that they can get hoops. Level 9 Greninja is actually going to take me out here. I'm going to miss and lock myself in place with Razor Leaf. Terrible decision. And he's finna score a nice clean 37 points and get rid of that goal. I didn't know that actually gives us a shield. Um, I'm going to get, we're going to call this Red Buck. Red Spiral. This just in. It's called Red Spiral. We're going to get rid of the crayfish and start attacking this, uh, Red Spiral, Buffalo, and hopefully, I think that might just give us more damage. Um, damn. I don't know that, uh, it's like, is, is that Elder Gross? Something like that, in Greninja. Our Zora Cat's actually fighting the Greninja right now of the cool Pokemon that are currently in, and Greninja just beats him. And he didn't even turn Ash Greninja. Uh, I have a really good idea or theory for this game that they could do for if, let's say, Bulbasaur, Charizard, any of the Mega Evolution type of Pokemon get outdated. They could definitely uh, involve Mega Evolutions as a fourth line that's hopefully very late game. And it basically, those Pokemon have, you would assume, God tier scaling. But we're going to actually double team both the Elder Gross and the Pikachu, and we're coming back from this game. I'm clawing up, and we're fighting. I'm actually going to turtle back on base, because I don't know where anyone is on the map, but actually, all three of them are at the bottom. So I could have went and scored. Absol's actually going to be jungling. I'm going to 
finally try to make this run or this stretch and sadly Pikachu and Eldegross are are finally here they're back I'm gonna try to make the clean oh, <laughs> U-turn Eldegross actually catches me in the bush I'm gonna be on the run cuz that she hurts and I think she's a, you'll be surprised she's attacking type you never expect that from that thing ever forever ever um, I'm actually gonna hopefully meet it and do some damage to it or it's gonna actually do damage to me I'm gonna start running from it cuz it kind of has me beat but I may have more uh, auto attack range and I could have hope try to kite it but it would have been able to do damage to me also Cinderace is gonna run we're actually gonna take out the outer gross and I'm gonna just have my uh, ability I try to get off the hoop off because I knew that Gengar was going to kill me but psych and we're actually gonna go try to score these 40 hoops boom got the 40 40 bomb got the HP about to get giga drain plus we got the pedal dance everything's straight everything's good now it's just scaling and making the right moves from here and if we have to play around Zapdos we can play around Zapdos um, but at this point in the game I have no like ambition to really rotate top or buy that's kind of over with now just because my team has thrown that out the wall I can rotate top or then a random one of my teammates can just rotate top and it just throws off the whole game and I think it might get in that nah I think it might get in that play set where, where mindset where people players be like I have to go bot because there's three there and people are just making their own moves I'm going to try to fight this Gengar let's see I'm actually gonna take him out I played against some Gengars that are really truly sneaky we're gonna make these 36 bomb hopefully and boom Eldegross is going to be here. Hopefully, I am calling it the right name. Please do not hurt me. I do not use this Pokemon, and I don't really imagine anyone who really wants to use this Pokemon uh, competitively. It just... I don't have my eye out for it. And I think this is where the Gengar is just going to do his thing and die because he is a ghost type. So he's already... He's dead dead. We're actually going to get Pedal Dance plus now. We're going to be schmoovin'. I don't even know if it involves moving speed, but we're going to just hop out of there. Get in this L-Bush. L-Bush on right side. That's me. L-Bush right side, bot side. Yeah. Or bot side, L-Bush on the right. Ooh. We learned the callouts. Actually going to be going for the Zapdos. Um, you can actually get away with Zapdos right now really easily because people... Just they're running around the map and having fun with the characters. Let's, let's go. Let's take it. Um, our crustle's actually gonna get it, and the El Elgross does not kite. I'm actually burning. I'm burning. That cotton ball burned me. <laughs> uh, actually gonna have 32 unscored points. I hate to see it. And I forgot I can actually. Can you view other players? Or I think you have to do it manually. Keep that in mind next time. I think this game is actually gonna go the whole way and they're not gonna surrender. When you get Zapdos, man, it's truly a nice feeling of like you can come back because you can just score points instantly. I'm actually gonna drop on these three coming in with my ultimate, doing mad damage with the pedal dance plus the Giga Drain. Ooh, and we don't even, we have, if you notice, I haven't been using my attack X, my X attack just because, um, Man, I'm not, it's not my muscle memory. I forget about that you even have items in this game. Because, like, potion was so bad. Ah, uh, potion, ah, uh, yeah, I just think potion's bad. I'm gonna have an opinion on it. We're just gonna be healing up and reducing their damage, but Gengar is going to take me out, because that boy does damage. Look at all those unscored points. Our Cinderace is trying her best. Or his best like, folds, but it's okay because they only have five seconds left. Two and one, and the game is done. And I think we this one's closed out confidently. The Zapdos truly did matter, though. I, I believe. Um, thanks for watching.
if you enjoyed the content let me know um, I'm only gonna have two videos uh, I'm going I have some Machop fucking Machamp gameplay and uh, it's definitely the Cinderace is, is there too and I think I'm actually that's a good idea alright guys uh, like and subscribe and be easy Bill Supreme is out don't let someone steal your sunshine